time and energy management time and energy are two most important precious resources which are available to an individual these resources are also known as human resources we must make best use of these resources what is time plan an advance plan of all the activities to be performed within the allotted time is known as time management time plan can be for a day a week a fortnight a month or a year this is a sample time plan for the daily activities there are various steps which are involved in making a time plan first of all we need to list all the activities which are to be performed in the allotted time then we need to underline activities to be performed at a definite time we must make an estimate of the time required for the activities listed then arrange these activities in a sequence in which they are to be done we must keep in mind the time schedule of other family members and make necessary adjustments if required activities requiring similar equipments should be grouped together and in the end we must write down the final plan peak load period peak load period is the period in which number of activities needs to be performed in the smaller period of time for example in morning hours for preparing breakfast packing lunch box and going for work are the various activities which are performed by the homemaker we must consider peak loads while making the time plan in order to reduce stress caused during the peak loads we must take help of the other family members to reduce our burden we can take outside help to meet demands for example hiring maids we can apply principles of work simplification coming to work organization it is planning arranging and performing one's activities in such a way that they are completed in the allotted time with minimum energy expenditure while planning daily activities we must alternate heavy work activities with light or moderate work activities this will help in preventing tiredness and improve our work efficiency then there are work which are categorized on the basis of the energy expenditure it can be light work moderate work or heavy work light work uses minimum energy expenditure these activities includes cutting vegetables dusting writing reading knitting etc moderate work activities uses medium energy expenditure and these activities can be cooking cleaning utensils sweeping dusting stitching etc heavy work activities uses maximum energy and these activities are mopping floor washing clothes manually running climbing stairs gardening etc